All right, guys, here we are with SAT digital math question number six. Here we have a simple systems of equations question, and it comes in the form of a word problem. Now, initially, this seems really complex, but all of the magic happens with the setup. And once you have it set up, it becomes really, really easy to solve. So uh, we look at store A and store B. Store A has these raspberries for $5.50 a pint and blackberries for $3 a pint. So I'm going to set my uh, number of pints of raspberries. I'm going to set that equal to X. And then we have number of pints of blackberries, and we're going to set that one to Y. So uh, our first equation here is simply going to be 5.5X plus 3Y, and that's going to be equal to 37 at store A. So 37. Next, we have store B, and they're going to be selling the same thing, but for $6.5 a pint uh, for raspberries and $8 a pint for blackberries. And the total here is going to end up being about 66. So now we have two equations. The good news is that you don't have to solve this by hand. Uh, we can actually go ahead and plug it into Desmos. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. On Desmos, we have 5.5x plus 3y is equal to 37, and 6.5x plus 8y is equal to 66. And here we go. If we zoom in a little bit, we see that these meet at this point here, 4 comma 5. Or in other words, 4 pints of... What was it? four pints of raspberries and five pints of blackberries. And the question is specifically asking us, well, how many pints of blackberries? And there we have it, our answer is gonna be five. One thing you have to be really careful of with that answer choice D, they're trying to trick you here. That's actually going to be the number of raspberries. So you have to be really careful not to confuse X and Y. But that's it with the systems of equations. Once you have it set up, plug it into Desmos and you're all done.